low back pain. No different etiology is found in 85% of the cases of low back pain. 90% of patients with a single episode of low back pain return to work within six weeks. Low back pain is the second most common cause of work absenteeism. History of low back pain is the single most important factor predicting future occupational low back pain. Persistent low back pain more than six months constitute 4% of the cases. Disability may be closely linked to compensation and litigation. Here is a diagram that shows the intradiscal pressure related to the activity and the position of a person. The least amount of pressure is measured with the patient lying supine. The highest disc pressure is measured while sitting and leaning forward with 20 kg load in the arm. By keeping the weight of the load close to the body, this reduces the compressive forces placed on the lumbar spine. Yoga activities and exercises performed during sitting probably have less pressure being placed on the discs. Physical factors which lead to low back pain. Lack of fitness. Heavy lifting of objects. Holding loads close to the body is important to reduce compression forces on the lumbar spine. Operating motor vehicles. Prolonged sitting. Operating vibrating tools. History of cigarette smoking. Nicotine causes disc degeneration. These are the physical factors that could lead to low back pain. What are the examples of sports-related activities that lead to low back pain? Golf. Pain as a result of twisting and forward bending and overarching the spine during the swing. After the age of 40 years old, the person loses 50% of the rotational movement of the spine. It is important to perform stretching and warm-ups before starting the game. Horseback riding can cause low back pain. Vibration caused by the horseback riding increases the load on the discs. The back muscles work constantly to keep the posture straight. Caring for the horses could contribute to low back pain due to the bending and the lifting associated with their care. Etiology of low back pain. Why pain occurs? Virtually any structure in the spine can hurt. The facet joints. The intervertebral discs, the spinal canal, sacroiliac joints, muscles, ligaments, nerves, hip joint piriformis syndrome, and trochanteric bursitis. All these factors may cause low back pain. However, cancer can cause low back pain, and these are the red flags for cancer. Patient over 50 years old, pain at rest and at night, unexplained weight loss, history of cancer, bone destruction involving the pedicles on the x-rays is pathognomonic. You can see here in the diagram the bone cancer involving the vertebral body. And you can see also how the intervertebral discs are spared. Infection can also cause low back pain. Here are the red flags for infection. Diabetes mellitus, fever, intravenous drug abuse, urinary tract infection, and a previous surgery on the spine.
Here you can see that the disc is affected, but the vertebral body is spared. You need to diagnose a patient with coda equina. This is another huge red flag. Coda equina is low back pain with involvement of the bladder and bowel. So the first question you ask a patient with low back pain, do you have bladder or bowel involvement? At that point, if the answer is yes, you need to get a stat MRI. Now, examination of the patient. We do the initial assessment. We focus on the red flags, the fractures, the tumor, the infection, and the coda equina to see if we have any of these red flags or not. So the sign and symptoms of coda equina would be back pain, bladder and bowel disturbance, bilateral leg pain and weakness, saddle anesthesia, rectal and genital area sensory changes. So in the absence of red flags, imaging studies are usually not helpful in the first four to six weeks. The intensive workup may not be necessary in the early stages of routine low back pain. Nowadays, the patient wants to know and wants to know now do you want to know about their problem and how you, the doctor, can fix it? If you don't get x-rays or MRI, it is considered good care, but you may end by bad patient satisfaction. It is a dilemma, and you got to explain the problem to the patient. So you may hint that if you don't get better, I will get x-rays in the next visit. I may actually consider an MRI if your condition is not improving. So treatment of low back pain will be conservative treatment, maybe maximum one or two days of rest. Then you will have pain control by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication or medrol dose pack. We need to watch for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication toxicity the gastritis, GI bleed, platelet dysfunction, and renal dysfunction. Physiotherapy, as soon as pain control is achieved. Then you will give the patient soft brace or a corset. Epidural injection, it has some success rate, often short-lived improvement. How about return to work? And what happened to patients sustaining chronic disabling occupation and low back pain without any intensive rehab or therapy. The data shows if they're out of work for six months, 50% of them return to work. If they're out of work for one year, 20% of them return to work. If they're out of work for more than two years, almost none return to work. The best treatment for acute Low back pain is to continue with the ordinary daily activities within the limits permitted by the pain. The best treatment for low back pain patients without red flags is to go back to work. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.